crafting my style with the Christmas cards today. I absolutely love this new set of um, bobble dies that we have, and we've got some pine boughs to go with it. So I'll show you what the die sets look like in the package. First up, we have the vintage bobble, and we have two sizes here. They have separate cutting edges, a little hanger that's included that's decorative and filigree, and two of the bead caps you can use on top also. And the pine bow set, which has got the lovely pine bow we'll be using along with the twigs. And to do a little texture, we're going to be using the floral brocade pinpoint embossing folder for the background. It's really, really pretty. So let's get started. And I think first up, we'll do a bit of cutting. So I've already done a little bit of our background cutting. We're going to do three apertures here. So I'll use the pine bow. And I'm going to go ahead and tape it into place with some removable tape. And that looks like it should be about right. Bring our plates across here and pop it into place. And run it through the grand caliber. There's a couple little spots we need to recut right there, so let me pop that back through. I've just turned it and done the other side. We can just run it forward and back and that should do the trick. It's quite a bit of detail on this die. There we go, now you can see that. So I'll just lift this off carefully, getting all the little bits and take my tape off. So we're actually using the aperture for this one. So you'll have a pine bow you can use later on another card. So this is our beginning point, all right? Three open areas. So I'm going to fill those up with some of the um, embossing from the floral brocade. Now I'm just gonna pop this in kind of at an angle and we will run it through the machine with the base plate, the folder and the card and the raspberry plate. Now these pinpoint embossing folders are really lovely and there's actually two layers of embossing. You've got the, the deeper pinpoint that shows up and then there's another level of just straight embossing. So you get a really pretty mix of textures with it. There you go, so you can see just how lovely that comes out. And you can also use this side too. So it just depends on what you like. I'm personally very prone to this side, so that's what we'll use today. Now I've gone ahead and done one of these with some mounting foam because I wanna create a little bit of depth on my card. So just put mounting foam all the way around the edge here and picked it up on all the little bits around these uh, pine boughs. So it's got some support to it. And you don't actually even have to peel off all the backing as long as it's there to stay in place. And we're just going to line this up over and let me just lean in and make sure I'm getting it straight. That looks pretty good. Pop that into place so you can see how that embossing comes through and it just adds a little bit of extra interest to your card. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a base for my card with some piercing. I've matted and layered some silver to tie that in and balance it out with what we're going to use in the focal element. So I'll just use, let's see, a little bit of double-sided tape here and we'll pop some on the back. You may prefer to use glue on your cards. Both work absolutely beautifully. It's always a personal preference. So just Put that into place with a little bit of a matte layer there. Okay, so now what I've gone ahead and done is I've taken those pine boughs that I cut out originally and I've actually done what I call sugaring it. So I've made it really blingy here. And I've got an extra one, so I'll show you how we've done this. I'm gonna bring a bit of um, copy paper over and using the Cosmic Shimmer glue and my one of my favorite products, the Cosmic Shimmer Ice Snow, I'm going to just add some glue down the center of these boughs and along the edges, just little dots. There we go. And I'm going to just sprinkle the ice snow on it. There. 
tip it off. Now when that dries, it will be absolutely stunning and you will get something that looks just like that, picking up a little bit of that clear on white look to it. So it doesn't overwhelm, but it's really, really pretty, especially on your Christmas cards. Let's move this out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these that I've done ahead of time into place. So let me get three or four of these. And I think I'll just use a glue dot, pop them on pretty quickly. So you can just angle them whichever direction you like. I'm gonna start kind of overlapping a little bit with my aperture. And then we'll have some going across the top and we're gonna make it look like the, um, uh, the bobble is actually hanging from them. And I'll tuck the edge of this one right underneath. There we go. Now, the bobble die is actually in two different pieces. You have an insert piece that cuts without an edge, so you can cut this design out of your card, or you have the solid um, outside cutting edge. So I've used them together to give me this beautiful white piece. Isn't that pretty? I've added some pearls on there. And I've used just the outside piece to cut the silver backing. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. Just put a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer glue on it. And this dries clear, so if I get a little messy, you shouldn't see it. Around the outside, and I'll just hit a few of these back pieces to keep it in place. Okay, I'll line that up. Give that a second just to catch. Tidy up a little bit of my glue there. So you can see you have a gorgeous, gorgeous bobble there with the silver showing through. So it's a very traditionally colored one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in place. I've added some mounting foam to the back and I'm just gonna kind of tuck it right in the center of all those apertures and a little piece of um, a little bit of a glue dot and I'm going to tuck that top of that pine bough right into the cap area. Oh, actually, apologize, I left off my little cap. I've cut one of these in silver and it's got a little debossed area, so I'll just glue this into place before we finish. You can use it with or without, either way it works beautifully. There we go, get that to stay. Pop that on there. And I've went ahead and tied a messy bow, which is my um, term for a bow where you just kind of let the, the, the loops go where they may. It's out of silver seam binding. I've added a white crystal sparkler to the center there. And we are going to pop that into place up in the corner just to kind of hide all those little ends and give it a nice pretty accent piece. And we have finished. It's really, really stunning. Now the only extra thing that I've done on this particular card is I went around and added some little extra glue dots and sprinkled them with ice snow just to give it a little bit of the illusion of that wintry feel. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I think this is a stunning, stunning Christmas card and I know anybody that you would send it to would love to have this too.